Hey you, yeah you, before we get this video started, I just want to say a thank you for those who have been a member of my Patreon. If you want to be a member of my Patreon, I'll leave a link in the description down below right here. And there's a list right here of all the people who have been a member or a following member of the Patreon to help keep this channel alive. I would appreciate it if you do show, show your support guys. Uh, you guys are awesome and I really thank you for your support. Also, c commissions are open, so if you want to want a commission for me to draw something for you, go to my DeviantArt page right here as well in the link in the description, and I'll draw something for you. But make sure you hopefully follow the rules in my Patreon, on my on my Patreon and commission, so you can get so you can get it up, so we can get it on the list for you to for me to draw something for you guys. I would really appreciate it if you do, and yeah. As always, take care, and have a great day, and let's start the video, shall we? What is up YouTube, Frost the Hobbit in here, and we are back with another Sonic IDW issue review. This Sonic IDW is issue 35, and where we last left off, I believe our hero tails Sonic and meets a new character called Bella, and she's gonna be, and she's a new addition to the IDW series. Our heroes have found some captured Chow by Clutch, cause heck, he's bad news. So let's get on back to where we last left off. We last left off, with Sonic, Tails, and Bella trapped in the Eggman old facility base. Sonic says that these guys are not actually the toughest, but they, but they very are annoying, which I have to agree. They have to find a way to get out of there somehow. As Tails finds a door to, for them to get out of here, he destroys a few. Sonic carries Bella and jumps over the hover captured robots, and they bust through the door. Sonic goes backward. Sonic runs back to see if there's a way out. Tails try to get captured at one of the egg units, while Bella you, wastes no time and saves Tails from saves Tails from being captured. They both save each other at the same time, and I can already see the fans already shipping these characters. Despite Tails is a fox and Bella is a robot, is a wooden robot. I don't know how that would work, but hey. As Sonic congratulates them on succeeding, they bust out of the base in no time. Uh, Sonic looks like he's having fun, Bella looks, Bella looks surprised here. Her reaction is adorable. Sonic said that was fun, Bella didn't agree. As Tails remind them, they got a message from Rouge that they found some trouble at their end and hoping they would meet them at White Park. They want to know what's going on here, and we see the little cute animation as Sonic and Tails are about to head out to the village, head out to White Park. Bella wants to hitch a ride on, want to hitch a ride with them, since she has nowhere else to go. Tails said she did just save us, and she promised that she won't be looking for trouble. Sonic agrees and hopes that she enjoys the ride on the tornado. Which we see her, yeah, she is not used to riding on the tornado with the wings. She, she's not used to that, and that's adorable. We meet up at the white park very fast, and oh, I see a, I see that little goat character in the background. She's she's everywhere in these comics. I like that. As Son, as Amy Rose makes it to welcome Sonic back here, as. As Amy Rose tells Sonic what, about Rouge, that if you call Tails here, and wondering where Tails was, T Sonic says that he, from what he heard, that Rouge needed Tails for something for an emergency, and a and Sonic introduced Amy Rose to Bella, and, I, and that's a nice, cute interaction. I got to admit, I really like that. As they walk through the factory. Sonic is not 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 eased about these little broken robots everywhere, and they tell him about the situation about freeing the Chow. Bella decides to help out with her with her hand tools, and that's that's ador that's awesome. And I really like Cream the Rabbit's expression that she, she is amazed she is amazed about her about her hand tools. As Sonic's about to head out to find. About to head out to find Tails. Find Tails. Amy Amy Rose is worried about what's happening right now. As everybody gets to do things with do do what they need to do, we see that Clutch is 
not down for the count as he was playing possum. As Clutch says to them that this is what happens, let me show what happens when people double cross him. And he activates something on his staff, and it activates a giant, giant polar bear batnik from Sonic 4. Yeah, these these things this this guy's a problem. It took a lot of special homing attacks to, to get rid of this guy. As well as awakening up other batniks in the area. Bella is not Bella is tired of batniks. Gemroll comes out to help out. Amy Rose tries to smack the giant polar bear robot with his hammer with her hammer, but it left no mark. Which, according to Amy, yeah, that's no fair. So if she can't smack it with her hammer, she's gonna have to try a different approach. As she's trying to lighten up the mood and focus on attacking it in a different way by smacking objects against it, which did something. Meanwhile, we get to the nearby roller coaster of White Park, as Tails says the famous line, my head's spinning from Sonic Heroes, nice callback. And we see Rouge the Bat is is tied up along with him, apparently. According to Rouge, she was hypnotized and to giving out information. And we all know who this guy is. We basically know who this guy is. If you if you guys don't know by the design of his hand, of his of his gloves, but we'll get back to that as we see Sonic is searching for the other two. As he sees Rouge and Tails tied up in a roller coaster, he boosts straight to their location. And something seems to be thrown at him and causes Sonic to fall off his track until Shadow comes to the save, saving, saving Sonic. And he's saying, you can't even dodge that. That's a, you really are an embarrassment. Oh, come on. And I can see fan, Shadow and a Sonic fan, Sonic, Shadow and Sonic shippers are going to ship this. Think this is shipping moment. They'll take anything these days, even though this is just a joke. Sonic Jokely, nice to see you too, as both Sonic and Shadow boost to the to the roller coaster track. Dr. Starline reveals himself, which is kinda obvious, because the glove was a dead giveaway. The Tricor. If you read the uh tri read about the Sonic IEW bad guy, which I normally don't do reviews on that, I only review the main ones. He worked Starline was working on the Tricor that allows him access to Power, speed, and flight. Those power cores are the same power cores from Sonic Heroes that levels up the characters, and I really, really, really like that idea. And I'm so glad they brought like, Ian Flynn thought of that idea. I'm getting elements from Forces and Sonic Heroes in this. As Starline says that he is not here to waste time here, waste time fighting these two, he set up a bomb. He set up a bomb. Inside the white, inside the White Castle location, White Park, and Starlight does a cowardly move or smart move on his perspective. Either you stop him from doing whatever he plans, whatever he's planning, just to save Tails and Rouge, or save the, or save the innocent people trapped in the, trapped in the uh, in the avalanche. Overall, this this was Sonic IDW issue 35. That was all I have to say. And like I said, go check out IDW issue issue bad Sonic the Hedgehog bad guy issue one, two, and three. They'll show that Starline's teaming with the villains. It's spoilers. It's not looking well for Starline because you know bad guy team ups aren't going so well. Mimic Mimic is was is willing to try and kill him, but apparently Starline somehow avoided the avoided that since he's here in this comic, as we see right now. I'm wondering how issue number four of Bad Guy is gonna end, because Eggman's gonna get involved in issue four. Overall, thank you guys for watching. That was all I have to do, a little quick review. P leave a comment down below on what y'all thought of this issue. Let me know, what were your thoughts on this? Did you enjoy it? Take care, have a great day, be safe. What were your favorite parts on this? And most importantly, stay frosty and stay healthy out there. Catch you all later until issue 36. Stay safe and happy holidays. You kindly stripped your waist for me. Hmm? You want me to what? Not, Not a, big a big deal. deal. I just want to show you the bomb oh, I, I strapped to your, your body. body. <laughs>